Welcome to the Same Side Selling Podcast. I am your host, Ian Altman. You used to have a great approach for reaching out to clients and prospects. And now this whole pandemic came about, and it seems like the way that you used to reach out to people just isn't working as well as it used to. That's what we're going to talk about on this episode. So why is it that old approaches didn't work? What I would like to suggest is that it could just be that we were relying on old habits, old tricks, old attributes to reach out to people. See, when we could go out and meet in someone's office, let's say you're selling healthcare, we could show up at a medical facility, at a hospital, at a nursing home. We could also show up at someone's office, factory, whatever it happens to be. But now, after the pandemic, we can't do that. We can't just show up unannounced anymore. And what that means is that we used to be able to rely on our charisma, our personality. We used to be able to quickly connect with people right on the spot and build that type of rapport with them that made them open to hearing our message. And it didn't quite matter how informative our message was. It didn't quite matter whether or not it was a brilliant message. If we were personable enough, if we were likable enough, people would give us the time of day. But that's not the case anymore. In fact, when we reach out to people and we want to talk about our stuff, or if we try that disingenuous connection about something personal that doesn't resonate with them, then we actually repel people rather than attracting them to us. How do we need to change to make sure that we're actually standing out, that we're capturing and earning attention, as opposed to just being frustrated that we can't get through to the people we can help the most? Well, a lot of it comes back to some core principles in same side selling. And that is that we have to show up as someone who's there to solve, not someone who's there just to sell. And it's a challenging concept for people to get because you might think to yourself, I'm in sales. Of course, as a salesperson, I'm there to sell things. Actually, I would argue that you're not. You're there to solve things for clients. And when they feel like you're there to help solve something that's important to them, then all of a sudden you are someone who adds value to their world and they want to pay attention to you. If on the other hand, you're just looking out for your own self-interest, what I like to refer to as the new version of ADD, axis displacement disorder, where we believe the axis of the earth has shifted and now the world revolves around us, that's when we start talking about the things that we're trying to sell. So how can we reach out to people in this world of post-pandemic? What are some of the things that we can do to capture attention? Well, in our Same Side Selling Academy Coaches Corner, every month, people talk about different approaches of how they're actually connecting with their potential clients. And it comes down to some very simple concepts, and I'll share those with you now. The first thing is that you need to think about what are the core problems that you solve for clients like them? So if you reach out to people in a certain industry, you want to think about, well, if I'm reaching out to people in professional services, if I'm reaching out to people in government, if I'm reaching out to people in technology sales, if I'm looking, looking out to people in construction, what are the biggest challenges they're facing right now? If my message was something that was relevant two or three years ago, but isn't relevant now, who cares? For example, in my business, a lot of where I've been spending time with businesses lately is on the recruiting side. How are they attracting ideal talent and top talent? Because it's really hard for them to do that right now. And they can't just compete on salary. So how do they stand out from other businesses when they're trying to recruit? Well, that's something that wasn't as important two years ago, but now it's incredibly important. If you can start talking about the kinds of problems that you solve, then instead of talking to someone about your products and services, you get to say, here are some of the trends that we've been seeing lately. Clients have been coming to us to address issues like X, like Y, like Z. Does one of those stand out for you? Because if one of those doesn't, there's not much for us to talk about. And if one of those is important to you, we might be able to help you I don't yet know, but I'm happy to learn more to see if we might be able to help. That is something that we refer to as the same side pitch. And the same side pitch follows a structure of entice, disarm, and discover. So first we entice by sharing problems that we solve with dramatic or extraordinary results. We then disarm the notion that we're just there to sell something by acknowledging that not everyone is a great fit for us. 
and then we trigger a discovery phase to learn more about their situation to see if we can help. It's also, you'll find this in chapter four of Same Side Selling. I don't know what page it's on, but it's somewhere in chapter four. I'm sure you can figure it out and get more information about it. What that means is that if we say to people, organizations or clients come to us when they're facing these sorts of problems, and for the right organizations, they tell us we deliver amazing results, but I don't yet know enough about your situation to determine whether or not we can help. But if that's something you're trying to solve, I'm happy to learn more to see if we might be able to help. Notice that you're instantly showing up as someone who's there to solve rather than someone who's there to sell. So how do you come up with these rants? How do you come up with these problems that you solve? My buddy Bob London refers to this concept as an elevator rant, and I've coined that phrase now, and I probably use it more than he does. The idea for an elevator rant in same side selling is probably a little bit different though. And what we talk about is this notion of what would it sound like when your ideal client is talking to one of their colleagues and complaining about something that either you can solve or something you can solve. They might be complaining about their existing vendor. They might be complaining about something they didn't even know they could solve. Rarely will it include a description of your product and service. No one's going to in the elevator say to their colleague, ah, Man, I was trying to find someone who provided this type of product or service. I Googled it and nothing came up. That's not going to happen. You have to really get into your client's head and think about what is it that they would be trying to solve. So how do you find that out? Well, reach out to some of your recent clients and say, what were the biggest challenges you were trying to solve when you reached out to us? And they'll probably tell you. And if you start seeing a common pattern, reach out with that approach. We've had members of the Same Side Selling Academy who have seen a dramatic difference in response rate when they reach out using this approach of the same side pitch versus the approach of trying to use a traditional elevator pitch where you're just talking and spewing about your product's features and benefits. Those messages don't get returned. No one really wants to reach out and talk to someone who's just trying to sell them something. But if you can come across as someone with expertise, if you can come across as somebody who has their finger on the pulse of the trends in the industry, if you're someone who can actually connect with them about things that are relevant to them, and if you can disarm the notion that you're just there to sell something by acknowledging that not everyone is a good fit for you, but if these are issues they're facing, you're happy to talk to them to see if you might be able to help. That's how we pivot that conversation. And We've seen this work effectively across industries, especially post-pandemic. So next time you're reaching out to somebody, think about that notion of, am I showing up as someone who's there to sell or am I showing up as someone who's there to solve? And if I feel like I'm showing up as someone who's there to sell, it's probably not going to work out well. So I have to think about what are the problems that we solve for our clients? What would they be complaining about that we're really good at fixing? And I lead with those. And that's how you might earn more, more attention and get in the door with the people you can help the most. If there are topics you'd like me to cover, just drop me a note to ian at ianaltman.com and I will see you on the next Same Side Selling Podcast. So long.